Hey guys, we're here playing Blue Sun, and this is a Scorched Earth Grail deck. This hand is obviously ridiculous. No ice. Not okay. This one has ice, so we're good. Quite happy with this. Um, got the Archer, which we won't res right away, but it will become quite nice when we have this hostile for turn two. And when we get oversized, we'll be able to crack the curtain wall. So let's put the Enigma here in case he face checks it, as people sometimes do. Not always, but... And we'll put out the, the Archer. Archer will be kind of our base of a remote, and it should be able to hold off most things, or at least make them spend clone chips to get in. It's nice against Shaper because they're not going to play uh, shutdowns. So once you res it, it's pretty secure. We didn't draw any money in our opening hand, but this is a form of money. You net $5 with it, which is pretty decent. It's a good way to recover in the opening game. So you can play your restructures, play your hedge funds. Yeah, I don't imagine they'll run first turn. It's usually bad against Pusan to run because you get you just face check things that hurt you. And then they can bounce it back to their hand any way they want. So we'll slam the hostile. And we're playing one copy of Mills. So this is a lady. Gets rid of your bad pub when you res it. And because you're blue sun, you can bounce it back to hand and, and just res it every turn if you want until all your bad pub is gone. So that's kind of neat. The other thing it does is it really hoses Aesop's Pawn Shop. And so for that reason, I think one copy is all right. I think playing any more than that is not good, but where you have one copy and we also play a boot camp, it's a niche card that has enough niche to work for me. I'm playing a couple Grims and the Hostels, so Right, so we basically have to res here. We don't have to, we could play the Jackson down, but I don't mind having this resed. And it's a lot faster just end the run than the alternative, which is they take a long time picking the order of the cards and you just shuffle them through anyway. So fantastic draw here. So let's erase our bad pub. Archer's here. Not that she has any programs, but yeah. And we'll we'll curtain out here. Can't res either of these yet, but when I draw an oversight, this will be good. Next turn I'll bounce Mills back, recovering the money you spend for her. So for other Whalens paying two credits for this for this feature is not that exciting. For us, it's essentially free. Which is very good. Just a global sec. That's not a good sign for us. Well, that's interesting. Do I want to just blow that up? Probably not. There's a Grim. Yeah, I definitely want to keep my mill so I can res the Grim, take a bad pop, and then erase it. See and Scorch, I like it. Could draw again, throw something out. Maybe not as exciting. I'm going to play the Grim out here. Next turn we'll draw for more economy. And if it turns out he's going to use this a lot, we will. We will fry it. It's not always worth it because you take another bad pub by frying a location. But if he's building his deck around it, like he's doing like cash, daily casts, armitage, a lot of like zero or one cost programs, then we definitely want to kill it. Opus, interesting. 
Opus and Pawn Shop is not a combination I've seen that often. Because to have enough things to, to use the Pawn Shop, you need to draw a lot of cards. Whoa! What is he doing? Chaos Account Siphon, but he ha Why would he want tags when he's... Alright. I'm so confused, but we're just gonna ETR here. I'm so confused. But what this deck is trying to do. Yeah, I, I don't even. Could have bounced this to player structure. It's probably wise. Here's my oversight. That's fantastic. And I can now see that will scorch him probably as soon as next turn. Yeah, seems good. So let's hope he runs successfully and doesn't just opus up. I could have dangled this out as kind of a bait. Which is fine, I think. And there's, you know, some risk that he plays like exactly David crushes this and then trashes May or Mills, at which point I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I think this guy may be fairly new. He's pawning his co-busting with $8 still on it. You want to use, I guess he, no, that's actually whatever. It's pretty, it's equal to using Opus. I would still probably keep it around in case this gets trashed, because Whalen does want to trash your stuff. Like if I power shut down for five right now, which I would with do that hesitation, his opus is dead and he's just in a sad, sad place. Paintbrush. Okay, I still don't know what he's up to. Still very confused. Let's bounce this back. Blue Sun's so strong, and we'll, we'll restructure, we'll money again, and I'll just dangle this, see if he wants to check it. See double Scorch in hand, so we're going to be able to kill him on any successful run, unless he owes this for like five turns straight. I think Paintbrush is a very bad card. The fact that it works only on a res piece of ice just kills it. Like, I can deal with it being too me memory, that, though that's a lot. Costing three is a lot as well. But only working on res is, that gims it so heavily. So yeah, he's dead. Unless he exactly installs Plaskrete next. So a big question for Blue Sun is, do you play mid-seasons or do you play sea stores? Um, a lot of the time, mid-seasons is the one you want because you can tag them, even if you don't have the kill in hand, and then later on you can just kill them when you draw your Scorches. But this is kind of a case where you really just this is the one that works. Oh, he's got zero link. Or no, he's got one link, so I need to do six trace. I have to do one extra just in case I miscalculate. As has been known to happen. I mean, I've got a ton of credits anyway. I could have actually bumped it by like 20. And I could even have pulled the ending, but I bumped it by more. Like, C source is absurd in this deck or in this ID, because you just have massive, massive traces that they can't do much about. So correct response for him would be just Opus for a long time. Al alternately, like if he has Plascrete, like dig, 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 dig for Plascrete, play stuff like this and then pawn it right away. Certainly paintbrush is no good. If you have no breakers, right? Like why even install it, right? <laughs> it says mistakes were made. 
Yeah, I mean, starting with his deck choices, it's a big problem. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more games with this deck. They are often short and brutal.